Well, weather-wise, it's a beautiful day. It's Tuesday, March the 24th. But obviously, the world's a different place this morning. Following the announcement by Boris Johnson and the UK government that the whole country is now in lockdown. So technically, I'm laid off. Um, Sandy has been emailing her bosses all through the night. Uh, as of yet, she hasn't actually come home, but I've got a sneaking suspicion she's going to be laid off as well. So, yes, the whole country is on lockdown. Not a very nice word, lockdown, and I would imagine it would scare some people. And I would imagine a lot of the country are very scared now. But trust me, I think this is a good thing. Um, I'm surprised that old Boris didn't do it about a week ago, though. Um, I think it's a good thing for the country. Um, the country needs to wake up and we do need a little bit of uh, self-isolation. Now, I did start putting a vlog together. Um, obviously, now with uh, following this news, it's changed a little bit. So I'm having to re-edit. So uh, I'll show you some clips that I'd already filmed earlier in the week. Following the government guidelines that all pubs were shut, that Saturday morning felt surreal. Walking around the marina, everywhere was a lot quieter, including the boathouse. Yes, from now on, all bars, clubs, pubs and restaurants and cafes were to be closed. So that morning, we stacked up all the chairs and tables in the boathouse to close it down. Weird. Sunday, March 22nd. It's Mother's Day. So all you mums out there, happy Mother's Day. Um, sadly, I lost mine some years ago, but uh, if you can hear me, mum, happy Mother's Day. I think the best gift and uh, the only gift that most of us are giving our mothers this year is uh, actually not seeing them. Sadly, with the COVID-19, everyone's staying away. Um, it's very sad. Very sad, difficult times, but it's a beautiful day out there. The sun's shining. Uh, not a lot going on today, though, but we have been busy in the chandlery. Yes, it uh, appears a lot of people now are uh, actually buying a lot of soups and kitchen rolls and tea bags, um, biscuits, yes, and rice. So uh, we are selling a lot of non-boaty things at the moment, but... Uh, I suppose people are being cautious and uh, they're taking their boats out to self-isolate uh, a little bit. I know I've been uh, speaking to Malcolm this morning. He's very well, by the way, but uh, he is self-isolating because uh, obviously he's over 70. So he's got to be very careful. But uh, yes, strange times. The Sunday night was beautiful. The weather was calm and warm. Afternoon. Everything's calm, the wind's dropped, people are chopping wood and getting on with work. But we had a bit of a drama with uh, Kevin Marie's boat here. Uh, there's a strange smell coming from the boat. It wasn't very good at all. And uh, somebody came over the boathouse and, uh, and got me and said, will you come and have a look at Kev's boat? So we had a look and it turns out the batteries were frying. The centre battery, he has three batteries and the centre battery was uh, actually split and was throwing battery acid everywhere. There was smoke, uh, the horrible smell of sulphur. Um, so another boater, Peter, from a, a boat a little bit further down, got in there and uh, disconnected uh, all the batteries for him. So I'm just glad that didn't happen in the middle of the night. Obviously, that could have been devastated, but uh, all's well. Just that Kev's going to have to get that fixed now before uh, he can take the boat out, but I'm sure he will. Anyway, we're going to go up with uh, Di and Ron there up on the end boat and we're going to share a little drink with them and uh, sit and have a chat in the late afternoon sunshine. Anyway, that's it. Let's see what the week brings now. So we sat down with Di and Ron. We have been socialising with them quite a bit, even though we were keeping a little bit more of an extra distance. It is hard to keep away from friends. Yes, let's hope it's a sign of better weather to come. Even the birds were enjoying it. Hey, Spike! Where's Spike? Where's Spike? Hey, Spike! What's the matter? There's a good boy.
Monday the 23rd of March and what a difference in the weather this morning. It's not much uh, sun about this morning and the wind's getting up and if uh, this is how I can tell if I just try and zoom in a little bit. Can you see the reflection there? In the window of my van we, uh, Kev and Marie on their boat, have got a windsock uh, on their aerial over there. So that's a good indication to me of which way the wind's blowing and how strong it is and today... I'm supposed to be helping a couple of boaters move their boats. Well, if this wind doesn't drop, I don't think I'm going to be moving any boats today. And uh, the one boat that I'm moving has actually got a very small propeller on it. So it hasn't got a lot of drive. So, uh, no, no, no. As I say, today's Tuesday. I didn't move any boats, but uh, I think I'm going to move a couple tomorrow. Uh, there's one lady needs a hand with a pump out and uh, Barry and I are going to take his boat uh, snow goose around for some fuel so yes it's a delightful day weather wise here on the marina but it is a, 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 there, are, there is a very strange atmosphere but a nice atmosphere it's nice to see the boating community come together and it's surprising what you see It's our Rom practising his banjo. That's the chap that does the fenders and all the fancy knots. And while Mother Bear prepares the tea, Lady lies on and watches. Is a new boat here? What do you think of this self-isolating lark? <laughs> Good. There's Macy. See you later, folks. See you later. Yes, that was very nice to see Ron practicing his banjo. And earlier this morning, Barry and I took advantage of the weather and went for a walk up the Shropshire Union and took the dogs. Even though the towpath here doesn't look too good, it was actually fairly sturdy and dry underfoot. Gorgeous! Gorgeous! Go on! Yeah, nice walk down with Barry uh, this morning to Bridge 112 on the Shropshire Union. Uh, got the boys. Chip, yes. tail, come on. Yes. Come on, boys. So uh, Barry and I are just walking back. Barry's been like part of our family on Chugs lately, so uh, self-isolating really isn't an issue with us and Barry. He has been uh, on our boat for quite some time, and he's got his own little story we might tell you about uh, one day. But at the moment, we're just having a trot. Oh! Dale's throwing an epi. Come on, Chip. Come on. Come on. So, yeah, nice. It was great, and I'm not sure who enjoyed it more, us or the dogs. It was good for Chip and Dale to be off the lead and have a run at last. Yes, well, that's it. The lockdown will continue. But even the marina are doing their best and installing these benches around the place just so we can sit nice and comfortable and still feed the ducks. Yes, that's really happening. Yes, don't be afraid everyone, we will beat this COVID-19 and the world will keep spinning. And as promised, if you're fed up and watching Neighbours and Home and Away and the same old stuff on the telly, I'll try my best to uh, put as many vlogs out as I can, just to give, try and give you a little bit of fresh air and towpath scenery. So you lot take care of yourselves out there and try not to worry too much. And we'll catch you soon.
on Chugabug.